everybody, it's Anna. I'm back with another Stitch Fix unboxing. So this is going to be my November Stitch Fix. I just, it's been sitting here for like the last four days, but I've been so busy because it's the weekend and it's Sunday and I'm finally getting around to filming this. I mean, I just, I couldn't wait anymore. So I was like, I need to film this and excuse the disheveled look. It's Sunday night at like 8.30 and I don't always wear makeup on the weekends. My hair is a mess. Although I did color it red. I don't know. What do you guys think? It was like blonde and now it's like red. I don't know. I'm still getting used to it. I got used to the blonde. So anyways, so Stitch Fix, for those of you that don't know, is a fashion um, subscription service. It's uh, you pay $20 a month and you get a styling a stylist that will send you items based on your profile that you fill out. You can do videos like this one, or you can pin things to Pinterest. Oh no, the video fell. Sorry about that. I clearly need to work on my setup. Okay, so let's get started because if not, I'm gonna keep rambling. And y'all didn't come to see me ramble. Okay, so let's open it up. It is a bigger box than last time. Last time it was small and I was like, what's in here? Um, so it is a little bit of a bigger box. So I'm interested to see. Um, I didn't do so good about going back in and updating my comments to the stylist. So I, this is kind of a box of surprises. I'm not really sure what's coming in here. So um, there's a standard bag, it's the mailer. So anything that you don't want from the box, you throw in the bag and take it to the post office. I'm good to go. Here's my little envelope with the prices and then the little card from, um, you get a message from the stylist that kind of, you know, it's cute because it's usually personalized. Ooh, I got a couple bundles. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, so I'm going to read the card. I'll try not to look at the pictures and I'll look at the prices at the end because I don't want them to taint my view of what I got. Okay, so it says, hi, Anna. Welcome to your November fix. Today, I chose more pieces for you to mix and match for work or play. I so much wanted to find you a pant for work and selected the cut from the cloth boot cut pant, but the inseam will run long. It was a tough call, but thought you could use a pair. I paired it with a blouse and a sweater. Ooh, okay. Maybe we're getting somewhere. I've been asking for like dress pants for like the last two or three fixes and I haven't, they haven't hit the mark yet. Um, I paired it with a blouse and a sweater. So you have options for the week. Both can be paired with your jeans as well. The final touch for any of these looks is to layer with the Alice blue jacket, two for one, and add the Octavia very soft and machine washable scarf in burgundy. Oh, I love burgundy. Let me know. Enjoy your partner. Wait, enjoy your partner in personal style, Sheila, San Francisco. Ooh, Sheila's a different um, stylist. I've been having, I think it was Brianna the last couple fixes. So this time I got Sheila. Let's see what she's got. I'm not going to look at the pictures because there's usually like little pictures that tell you like all about the outfits or they give you different styling ideas but I don't like to look at this because I want to be surprised when I open the stuff okay so I got two packages here's the first one ooh I like that pattern not sure I heard weird noises it's the dog upstairs drinking water so that's the first bundle oh, this is a big bundle ooh look at that okay I see the burgundy scarf and I see some other things I'm guessing these might be the pants I'm not sure okay enough about that let's get on with it so I'm opening the first bundle Ooh. oh this is nice I like this a lot it's a sweater it's a little on the longer side so that's cool it's got little the little rounded hemline at the bottom let's see and this is market and spruce and this is the market and spruce thinly striped pullover Ooh, I really like this this is really cute. I dig it. Okay. So we're already off to a good start. Sometimes I pull stuff out of the box and I'm like, hmm, but okay. So now we're moving on to the other bundle. So I'm already super excited about what I read in the note and about the sweater. So let's see what else do we have here. Ooh, this is pretty. I kind of have something similar to this, but we'll see the prices at the end to see if it's worth keeping because I love like navy. Navy blue is one of my favorite colors. So this is super pretty. I actually think I have something similar to this from like Express when um, they're Portofino um, button down blouses, but it's cute. It's got like a high low waist in the front. It looks like a little bit. Um, it looks like it's quarter sleeve. And this is, what is this? This is the 41 Hawthorne Calibri Solid Tab Sleeve Blouse in Navy. I hope I didn't just butcher that name, but I think I got it. 
Um, so there's that. Super cute, and it's longer, which I like because I can wear this tucked into my work pants and wear it to work. Or this looks like it's long enough that I could wear over a pair of jeggings with some boots now that it's winter time. So good so far. Okay, this is the scarf. Oh my god, it's so soft. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh. And it's this beautiful burgundy color. This is so nice, and it's super soft. I'm just making sure it doesn't like pillow up all over th all over everything. Sometimes you get like scarves that have, that are like this fuzzy. You can see it. It's super soft, super fuzzy material. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my god, I'm in love. I love scarves, and this is an infinity scarf, and it's just so soft. Oh my god. Okay. I dig it. Oh, that's craziness. Woo. Excuse me. So, I hope you guys can't hear it. It's the dryer going off upstairs. And this is the Octavia Pierce Knit Infinity Scarf in Burgundy. This is gorgeous. I dig it. Okay. So, there's that. I did ask for um, chunky, cozy kind of thing. So, that definitely fits the bill. Okay. And this is going to be the Alice Blue Zamira Zipper Detail Jacket. Because I've been wanting like a blouse or... A blazer or something that I can wear to work or um, just kind of throw over like that blue blouse or like something I can wear with jeans that's oh this is cute okay so there's a it's long sleeve I'm trying to figure out what's going on with the zippers here hold on it's hard to show you guys so it has like the zipper that runs down the front like that and I'm very confused. It's got like a zipper that runs along, like it runs all along the back and ends up back in the front. And I'm wondering if that means that you can unzip the jacket and make it like a long jacket or a short jacket. Maybe that's what they meant because it looks like you can unzip it and it can be a short jacket or you can leave it as it is and then it's a pretty long jacket. Hmm. I'm assuming, I don't think it came with instructions so I may have to play with it. Hmm, we'll have to see. But that's interesting. I've never seen anything like that. <gasps> and then these are the pants. <gasps> Finally, I have some dress pants. I've been looking and asking to please, please, please um, get me some slacks for work, some trousers. So these are the Cut from the Cloth Rose Boot Cut Pants. And I love boot cut. Boot cut is my favorite because I'm a little hippie. I'm a voluptuous kind of Puerto Rican, which most Puerto Ricans are. And so boot cut kind of evens out that like the curviness up top and then there's a little bit of flare at the bottom. So yeah, straight legs don't always work so well for me. That's kind of why I like the longer sweaters with the um, like jeggings and stuff. So here's the pants and it's just a gray, what do I call it? Oh, it says black, but it's like a gray black kind of pattern. And he did say they were a little longer and they're stretchy, which is awesome because again, that curviness needs, you know, need a little room sometimes. And these are super stretchy, so this is gonna be good. Hopefully these will fit well. Um, okay, sweet. Okay, well, I'm gonna put you guys on hold and I'm gonna start trying on some stuff and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, so this is the navy blue blouse. I left it untucked so you could see how long it is. And it is, I mean, it's a little big. A little bit just but it's flowy I like that and it's long enough that it covers my bum so if I wanted to wear these with some jeggings they would work out great um, and then you could also you know tuck it in excuse the belly there um, and wear it tucked in and then these are the trousers they are so comfy I absolutely love them like they're a little I mean they're super stretchy and I think they're snug enough that if I lost weight, because what girl doesn't have a New Year's resolution to slim down a little bit, um, I think they would still fit okay. And it has the pockets here, but I like the fact that the pockets don't, if I pull it up and wear a belt with it, the pockets don't like flare out. I have that problem with a lot of um, dress pants because I am so hippie. I get those little like elephant ears that stick out the side and it just makes me look even hippier. So I like them. Um, I have a little bit of bunching here in the front and I just don't know if that's because they are a little looser. Um, he wasn't kidding though when he said they may be a little long on the inseam. I don't know how like to show you guys without like hopping up on the sofa. But like 
that's there. I have to see because I'm not sure, Captain Morgan. Um, I'm not sure if they're too long even with heels. Like, that's the only downside. I usually wear flats to work. So I have to see because they are like super long. Like they are probably a good two inches too long. And if I get them hemmed, that whole like boot cut kind of goes away. So I love these pants, but the stylist wasn't kidding when he said that, you know, like they may be a little long. So I'll have to think about it. Um, okay, I'm going to put you guys on hold again, and I'm going to go ahead and throw on the other sweater. Oh, actually, you know what? I should have put the jacket on. I forgot about that because um, it'll go better, I think, with this blouse than with... I have to figure out how to do this. I may have to put you guys on hold just so I can figure out how to use this jacket. Um, oh, no. Okay. Ooh, that wasn't as complicated as it looked. Um, so this is the blazer. I still, I'm under the impression that you could probably unzip the bottom and make it a short jacket if you wanted to use it that way. Um, so let's see. So I will let you guys, so it is, I mean, it is quite a bit longer if you can see that. I mean, it is a longer jacket for sure. I'm scared to unzip it and see what happens. Um, I don't know. I don't know if a jacket should really be this complicated. So I'm going to zip it up. And so I guess this is how it would look. I'm not sure about this. I mean, it's kind of cute, I suppose. I mean, I do like the longer length and I'm about to be adventurous and see. I hope I'm, I hope I'm going to be able to put this back together when I'm done. So I'm unzipping. It's a functional zipper. Oh geez. Okay. Talk about bloopers. I don't know. Maybe I should edit this out. Or maybe not. I'm not sure. That way you guys can laugh with me. Oh, there we go. Came off. Now hopefully I can put this back on. So this is the jacket if I guess if I chose to unzip it. Um, hmm. I don't know. That's different. I actually think this is kind of cute. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to unzip it, but I figure it's a functional zipper. So maybe, yes, you would. I, of course, I would never go around without a longer top to cover my midriff because I'm not 20 anymore. So I haven't been able to pull that out off since I had kids. Um, but this is what the jacket looks like. Oh, I want to get down. So this is what the jacket looks like with the bottom half unzippered. And you saw with the zipper part on quite a bit longer. Um, but I like it. It's versatile. And I guess it's what they meant in the message. The styles meant in the message. It has that versatility. It's like a two for one. So you get the short kind of bolero jacket. And then you can also put the bottom part back on and then have like a longer jacket. And I like the style. like the way the zipper comes up the side. I dig it. Okay. Now I'm really going to put you on hold. Try on the other um, top. All right. Here we go again. And this is with the sweater, the pullover. It's long and it's chunky. I love sweaters like this. It, um, I'm not sure about the stripes going across. I'm always kind of hesitant about those. Um, it is longer in the back, which I like. It has like that curved kind of detail right there that you can see. I think this would be cute with some leggings maybe. Um, there's the whole sweater. I like the neck too. Excuse the fact that I have a sports bra on. My bad. So I like it, and then as you guys saw earlier, then the last piece that I got of the five pieces was the infinity scarf, which I love. It's so cozy. Okay, so those are the pieces I got. Um, so I don't know. Uh, hmm. This is gonna be interesting. So now I have to check out the prices because usually when blazers come and like slacks, like dress pants. They're not usually cheap, so I'm going to get the price list now and see how much the damage is to decide what I'm going to do. But I have to say, I'm actually really happy with the Stitch Fix. I really, really, really like the pieces that I got. I think um, the stylist, um, oh, Sheila, oh my god, I kept saying him, because I was thinking San Francisco, Francisco is the guy. Sheila did an amazing job. Whew, let's see. This is super cute. They even have instructions on how to wear the infinity scarf. That's so funny. But you can see the sweater with the jeans. 
And I digress because I'm supposed to be reading off the price list and squirrel. So Sheila did an amazing job. I may have to ask for her to be my stylist next time. Okay, this is the part that usually scares me, especially when I like the pieces that are in the box. So, okay, so the Octavia Pierce Knit Infinity Scarf in burgundy is $34. Okay, it's not terrible. Actually, these prices aren't that bad. I just peeked down the list and I was thinking it was going to be a whole lot worse. Um, the 41 Hawthorne Colibri Solid Tab Sleeve Blouse is $48, the navy top, um, cut from the cloth. Rose bootcut pants are 78 so okay, that's comparable to if you buy pants from Express or Limited, so I'm not shocked there. Um, the Market and Spruce Finley Striped Pullover, which is this one, is $68. And the Alice Blue Ramirez Zipper Detail Jacket is $78. I'm actually super surprised because last time I got a blazer from Stitch Fix, I loved it. Um, it wasn't a super formal looking blazer, it was more of a casual looking blazer. But it was like $150 and I was like, oh, couldn't do it. I mean, <laughs> like I said, it was more of a casual blazer and I was just like, I can't. So I'm actually pleasantly surprised at the prices that I see here compared to some of the other ones that I've seen. Okay, so I digress once again. So my subtotal is $306 and then when I get my buy five discount, because whenever you buy all, all five pieces, you get 25% off, um, which takes off $76.50 plus my $20 styling fee, which I already paid, brings my total down to $209.50. That's actually not bad. I know I have spent certainly that much going shopping at Express um, or the Limited or shops like that, New York and Company. Um, so I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Like when I started pulling stuff out of the box, I've seen some of the prices in the past and I'm like, oh my God, that's crazy expensive. So there's a really good chance I may end up keeping everything from this box. I just have to think about the pants because they're so long. Um, but I guess this is where you guys come in. Um, let me know what you guys think of the different pieces. Let me know which ones you really like. If you think I should keep all five or if there's some that you think, well, you know, that one really wasn't all that flattering. But I think they all looked okay. I don't have my glasses on so it's kind of hard for me to see. So I need you guys to uh, help me out with your opinion and let me know what you think. Um, oh no. My battery, sorry about that, my battery was running low. I think that happened to me last time too. I probably should invest in a charging cable. Um, so yeah, so you guys just let me know what you think in the comments down below. Tell me which pieces you liked. Um, if you think they were all great, if I should keep all five. Um, let me know what you think about the pants and what I should do, because they're kind of long. Um, and also give a thumbs up to the video and let me know if you'd like me to keep filming my stitch fix unboxings. I would be more than happy to. Um, again, thank you guys for watching. 